do you remember locomotor apparatus consist of active and passive parts skeleton and joints of bones is passive part active part is muscles and uh, after this lecture we continued about muscles too uh, today and about spontaneology so arthrology is a science concerned with the study of joints and some joints uh, it uh, have classification there are two major types of joints it's immobile joints or synarthrosis and mobile joints are the name diarthrosis or articulate or, or articulation so immobile joints or synarthrosis are bone is united directly to another bone by the very small amount of fibrous connective tissue or cartilage tissue and uh, the mobile joint or diarthrosis this uh, these joints have fluid filled joint cavity which is enclosed by a joint capsule and joints formed uh, where two bones or more than two bones meet also called an articulation three types based of movement between two bones it's a synovial cartilaginous and fibrous and synovial joint <coughs> free moving freely moving joint most common type of joint uh, example is a bull and circuit joint uh, bones uh, held together by ligaments and uh, strong band of connective tissue and some uh, big portion ligaments uh, between some bones it's a very important in uh, uh, for understanding some uh, and total organization of articulation some contain a bursa it's a sac like structure lined with synovial membrane and synovial joints enclosed in uh, an elastic joint capsule uh, contain synovial fluid uh, lubricants created by synovial membrane okay in the chat i looked one moment <coughs> And cartilaginous joints allow spite movement, hold bones uh, firmly in place in a solid piece of cartilage. Example, pubic symphysis and fibrous joint allow almost to no movement joined by uh, thick fibrous tissue. Example, uh, suturus of the skull. <coughs> uh, the subtypes of immovable joint are the syndesmosis, synchondrosis and synostosis. Uh, the types of the syndesmosis are suturus, ligaments, interosseous membrane and gymphosis. First one, syndesmosis in fibrous joint, the bones are held together by fibrous connective tissue uh, these joints uh, have no joint cavity without cavity uh, remember please and uh, suturus uh, so sutures uh, um, are found only within 
the skull. They are characterized by a thin layer connective tissue uh, that binds uh, the articulating bones. The type of, of uh, sutures are serrate, first one, serrate as a name, dentate. It's about teeth tooth, yes, sutura. Lab osquamous sutura and plain sutura. For example, squam, uh, squama of os temporal bone <coughs> have uh, sutura, uh, squamous uh, member, uh, sutura and uh, some ligaments where present ligaments uh, very simple. Uh, it's a ligament uh, steloid between steloid process of the temporal bone and uh, hyoid bone. Uh, next one, serrate uh, or dentate sutura uh, between uh, bones of the uh, calvarium. Calvarium is a, a big part where located uh, in the brain. Uh, syndesmosis type of fibrous joints united the bones uh, with a sheet of fibrous tissue. There are ligaments or a fibrous membrane. The interosseous membrane uh, in uh, the forearm is a sheet of fibrous tissue that uh, joints of radius and ulna between two bones in the antebrachial region, uh, radius and ulna present in brain. <coughs> uh, two variant uh, names, this is membrane. Radio ulnar membrane or uh, membrane interosseous or interosseal membrane. And gomphosis. Gomphosis, uh, it's a socket uh, or uh, dental alveolar syndesmosis uh, is a fibrous joint is in uh, which a pig like process fits into the socket articulation between the root of the tooth and alveolar process of jaw. <coughs> Here, uh, some tooth present uh, located in a, a special cavity, alveol, uh, uh, alveol, uh, dental alveoli uh, for this tooth. And a uh, very important moment, it's uh, uh, here uh, in this picture, clinical aspects. It's a uh, big cavity in some bones, it's a bones named maxilla. Uh, this is sinus, sinus, uh, paranasal sinus uh, present in the skull. It's a four types: frontal, in the frontal bone, in the etmoid bone, sphenoid bone, uh, maxillary bone, and in the maxillary, uh, it's the biggest sinus. Uh, this sinus have name Geimer uh, sinus. Geimer, it's a, a scientist who opened. Uh, and inflammation, this is cavity name uh, gymoritis. <coughs> yeah. And very interesting and important, it's uh, uh, some nerves, maxillary nerve moving to the innervation of the teeth. And uh, if in this cavity will be weak person, leukocyte, if, if result, uh, Inflammation uh, may present a big pain in a teeth of upper part in the oral cavity. The types are of thin chondrosis. Chondros, it's a fibrous tissue, yeah. Uh, it's a first primary or temporary and permanent and secondary. Uh, synthesis are present where two bones uh, are joined directly by solid piece of the fibrocartilage and for example pubic uh, synthesis 
The second location on secondary cartilaginous joint, uh, joint is uh, between the bodies of vertebra. First one, it is a uh, symphysis pubica, between pubic bone in a pubic region, and uh, between uh, uh, vertebras, vertebras uh, body uh, and uh, inter. Uh, vertebral uh, discus. When uh, growth is complete, uh, the, this synchondrosic joint ossify. It's a synostosis uh, when present um, <coughs> bony tissue uh, between some bones and are no longer visible. For example, os sacrum. Uh, os sacrum, it's a, a five, uh, you know, five fifths vertebrae uh, together. Uh, it's here, uh, sacral bone. And uh, as a round, it's a seen stosis in a <coughs> sternum. And uh, different types of the uh, connection sutura. Uh, next one, some variant it's uh, um, interosseous membrane uh, and uh, bodies uh, of the vertebras uh, connected uh, uh, with intervertebral discus. And uh, in a primary uh, cartilaginous uh, joint, it's primary uh, connection. It's a real joint, yes, and must be present uh, articular cartilage. <coughs> the most uh, obvious type of articulation in uh, the body is a freely movable synovial joint. Uh, the Mm, synovial joints have uh, different types. It's a uh, plain, hing, hang, pilpavet, condy, uh, condyloid, saddle joint, bow and socket joint, uh, and synovial joint. Uh, the most common type of uh, joint provide uh, free movement uh, between uh, the bones, uh, the joint. Uh, the right joint of locomotion, uh, typical of nearly all limb joints. <coughs> Synovial joints uh, or articulatio in Latin language, uh, remember please, uh, composed of a fibroelastic joint capsule, articular cavity, articular surface, and synovia. Uh, Fibroelastic uh, joint capsule here. Joint capsule, it's uh, uh, some back, back uh, for uh, location uh, of the articular cavity, uh, cavities, uh, cavity uh, with uh, synovia, it's a fluid in this is cavity and uh, connecting in this is cavity, for example, to Articular surface to uh, bones, but uh, if present more bones, it may uh, present too. Synovial joint are enclosed by a fibroelastic joint capsule, which is filled with synovial fluid. Uh, this synovial fluid, uh, it's a special lubricant for articular surface and uh, in uh, this video for example clavicle scalpel sc scalpel and uh, humerus and <clears throat> in this region present uh, its region uh, upper limb uh, acromioclavicular joint between acromion of the scalpel and uh, clavicle and uh, present to uh, joint between uh, head of the humerus and glenoid fossa of the uh, scalpel, and uh, together it's 
will be uh, some structure with uh, articular surface with capsule with cavity and wind with synovia uh, but it's a very uh, uh, dangerous place when absent uh, some its articular surface uh, big Persian muscle uh, when uh, this is muscle without uh, <clears throat> physical training it's my present problem uh, and this is uh, joint so ligaments help to uh, bind the bones together uh, in a synovial joint and may be located within the joint cavity uh, on the outside of the capsule uh, some ligaments uh, between not uh, near some uh, joints it's a bit like a concentration very interesting uh, ligaments uh, capsular uh, located in the capsule it's a ligament of the uh, head of uh, uh, femur and if you looked big person uh, size in a moment uh, yeah. you can look in this is uh, ligament small portion red color it's uh, uh, artery artery for vascularization of the uh, head uh, of humor bone uh, fem femoris uh, bone and uh, it's very dangerous when crush this ligament it's a big portion uh, blood located in a capsule of this uh, ligament and uh, some classification by structure uh, joints it's a simple uh, complicated or compound complex and combinated simple joints it's a very simple is composed of two articular surface or other variant two bones connecting <clears throat> two bones connecting uh, complicated joints uh, is composed of uh, three or more surfaces or three or more bones uh, together complex articulation uh, synovial joint which have uh, distinguishing features uh, such fibrocartilaginous uh, articular discus or meniscus in uh, cavity of articulation which are present uh, where articulated surface of the bones uh, and as uh, a disc or menisci uh, divided cavity into uh, flowers full, uh, fully in the case of uh, disc or partly in the case of menisque combinated some separate uh, separated joints that uh, move only together in the same time for example it's a, a articula uh, articulatio uh, temporomandibular and uh, as a variant it's a, a joints uh, in the uh, between uh, two antibrachial region, uh, for example, uh, it's a radio ulnar, uh, proximal and distal uh, uh, joints, and kinds uh, of the synovial uh, joints. Uh, Okay, now look, uh, some students writing big person mobile phone. Okay, uh, with you connect person who have a workbook and you will <coughs> uh, prepare. And now I in the chat sent uh, interesting uh, Telegram channel. If you want, uh, you can connect to this uh, 
can now uh, because uh, time to time we download some video to this scanner and some interesting uh, information about human anatomy. Uh, and uh, different form of uh, uh, joints. It's a galvanizing form, hang form. Uh, Pivot uh, joints, uh, pivot joints, condyloid joints. Uh, this condyloid form, for example, it's an MRI X ray examination. Yes, it's very important too. And uh, for example, uh, ellipsoid uh, joint, it's a really uh, articulate, so radio carpalis. Uh, <clears throat> and saddle joint, saddle joint here, yeah, ball and circuit uh, form uh, we told about uh, this moment in a uh, humerus joint uh, and uh, coax uh, uh, joint, it's a connection uh, femoral and uh, coax joint. Uh, joint uh, motion, <coughs> it's uh, uh, some terms flexion, extension, uh, and uh, dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, abduction, adduction, innervation, in inversion, aversion, internal rotation, external rotation, and pronation, supination. Uh, so, uh, different movement you. Uh, Uh, okay, <clears throat> it's a flexion, for example, extension, flexio, extensio. It's very interesting uh, movement, <clears throat> and uh, abduction uh, to the side, abduction to the middle line and uh, rotation, for example, in the uh, head, rotation uh, is a movement of a bone around its own axis. Example of the uh, turning the head from the side to side. Uh, circumduction, circumduction uh, is a circular movement uh, <coughs> of the body part, so the uh, cone-shaped airspace uh, is traced. And uh, uh, inversion, aversion, for example, it's in a foot. Protraction, retraction, uh, it's uh, in a uh, moving of the mandible. Elevation uh, is movement that resides uh, the body part and depression is the opposite elevation. Here, yeah, elevation and depression, yes. And uh, as a uh, very important moment for uh, very interesting it's a connection uh, with uh, um, membrane, it's a fonticle, fonticle in uh, skull in a newborn, uh, it's an anterior posterior fonticle uh, and uh, anterolateral and posterolateral. It's a paired uh, anterolateral and posterolateral ampere anterior uh, or uh, as a name frontal and posterior as a name uh, it's a uh, occipital 